Hello from Nana's Workshop. My name is Shannon Olson, and I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Today we're going to make um, snowmen and pumpkins out of canning rings. And uh, the way I start is the same concept for both. It just depends on what you want to decorate with and put on top. So as you can see, the snowman here, as you'll make two rings, and then this is a Christmas tree bulb, spray painted or decorated. Um, these actually I found already with this texture on and I thought was very cool. And I will tell you how to make the face and the hat and a lot of these little additives are found at Hobby Lobby. Um, Hobby Lobby is my favorite store, of course. And then the pumpkin rings, I added raffia, a cinnamon stick, and some leaves. And the process of that is after you get your ring done, I will put the cinnamon stick in first and hot glue it and get it uh, so it does not move. And then I will put two or three leaves down into the center of that. And then I will top it with some raffia to uh, make it a little bit more full and finished look. So how I start out is I get my canning rings, I wash them very thoroughly. And I only use the ones that have been used and thrown. Uh, they have rust on them. I will string them together with a string at first. Then I will take some wire and string it through there. I fish it through there and bring it around. And tighten it, twist it and tighten it. Because what I'm going to do here is twist it so it gets very, very tight and solid so your rings do not move. Because you want them to be a solid piece, a solid foundation. Now I just untied the string and I pulled the string out. So I will use my needle nose pliers and get on the center of that wire and I'm just going to twist, twist, and twist. And as I'm doing this, I want to make sure that they all fall in line. See it's getting more solid. And when you start getting it where it's getting tight and solid, start going very slowly because you don't want to twist that wire off because I've had it snap off. Go a little bit more. And I am pleased with that if I can get my tool out. Now these other pieces, these long pieces, I will just snap off and twist and curl into the piece so it doesn't stick out, so it doesn't poke anybody. So I'm just gonna see them, they're just inside, and I'm just gonna twist them, just gonna twist them down in there. So they, they're curled down inside so they're not sticking out or poking out. And then that's that. So then the next step is I take it outside and I spray paint them. I spray paint them white. And I just use the regular rust, Rust-Oleum spray. Now I've used flat paint on these. You can use any kind of gloss or matte or whatever you want to choose. So, um... I'm going to explain. So that is how you start out to get your pumpkins. Um, so then you put your cinnamon stick, hot glue it, your leaves, and I lay the leaves in there like this and then hot glue them stems in there and then I put the raffia. So that's how you basically um, do the pumpkins. So then the next step on your, once you have them all spray painted, you're going to stack them. You're going to stack them. A large, the larger rings on the bottom and then your next size smaller rings on top. And if you even want to go three, you can. I, um, I normally just do two. Um, you can do three if you want. So I'm going to go back to so I wanted to show you that. I'm going to go ahead and just do, 
I will set this on top. But now I'm going to move on to the heads. There's two ways I do the faces. Um, I can, you can use these wiggle eyeballs and they are come in a package from Hobby Lobby. And then I use also, these are actually like mini Christmas lights from Hobby Lobby to decorate, but I actually use those for the noses. And I will get one out and I will get the eyes out. And I go ahead and prepare the head before I put it on. That way you're not uh, moving that piece around so much, you know, trying to manipulate everything all at once. So I will do the head at first. And I will need my hot glue gun. So I kind of, I set it on there and I always kind of lean it back, tilt it. And I kind of figure out where that hat's going to sit. And I want to go down a little bit with eyes. So I'll put a little bit of hot glue on the back side of the eye. And put it on there. Now don't worry if you get these strings. They can pull, they will pull off later on. So I make sure that's on there solid. Make sure I did that okay. And I put the second one on. You can get different kinds of eyes. You can actually get some with eyelashes and I can find them for you real quick and give you an idea. And then you are going to, now this, I wonder if I can do it up here where you can see it. I will cut off some of that stem because I don't need a lot. And so I snipped it down almost to where it's, there is none. Because I'm going to, I'm sorry, I have to, I'm going to put this in my lap and then I'll show you. I'm going to put a dollop of hot glue and I'm going to put my nose on and I'm going to hold it upside down so it kind of comes down onto the nose. Okay, and then all you have to do is draw your mouth on whatever shape my nose is holding there. So then you can draw your shape of your mouth on with a, a paint pen. And I get those at Walmart, actually. They're like 99 cents. But I get the ones, make sure you look at the tips to see what kind of tip you need. And like I said, you can Google faces and figure out what kind of face you want on there. But you can, any kind of smiles. And I just kind of do a, somewhat of an open mouth. Because you can also paint his little pipe in there if you want on there too. But for now, I'm just gonna leave him like this, okay? And he is, that kind is done. Then the other kind I do is, I will draw in, I will draw in the face and again, I make sure I'm going to go leave room. So I'm doing a teardrop eyeball. Doing a teardrop eyeball. And I'm going to do a round nose. 
I'm going to do the same cut of mouth with a little bit of opening. I'm going to do the opening in black because it's, of course, it's dark inside your mouth. I do a little bit of that. And I'm going to do the eyes. I'm going to have them look off to the side. And I'm going to give him a little bit of color. Need a holder. And you can do use these paint pens again. They're very nice and easy to use. This one's going to have blue eyes. Then I'm going to give him a little bit of a red nose. Since it's cold outside and chilly, And like I said, you can add the pipe in if you want to draw that in. And I have, in the past, you can put it off to the corner of his mouth. Um, let's see, what else do we need to do to this guy? I actually think we are ready to put his hat and everything else on. So, of course, this hat is too small for this style. Um, actually going to go with this. I'm going to go with the smaller rings and put him on there. So we're going to back up if my head will stay on there. And I'm going to hot glue the rings together. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put glue on both sides. I'm just going to add some to where those surfaces are going to meet. And I'm going to put it on there, and you will feel them click together because of the ridges. And kind of press down a little bit, wait a few seconds. And then you will kind of eyeball and find your, your best looking front. Then you're going to add your head. And I will put a little bit course on the surface again on the ring and the head just to make sure and I and I put it kind of crock it to the side and that's what we have so far and I probably will and you can add your hat but since this hat is too big for this guy I'm going to find a smaller one but that is what it's going to look like but don't forget to add your ribbon. You can add a ribbon for a scarf. You can double that up if it's too big. Of course, you can cut it down. You can trim it down so it doesn't look so big. But there's his scarf and his hat. And also what is really neat is you can actually, so that's what he looks like so far, but you can actually, there is snow in a bag, which is amazing. So you can add some of that to the hat to make it look like a little bit of snow is on his hat. And you can just, Put a couple dops of hot glue there and then sprinkle this stuff on and shake it off and um, some of it, most of it will stick. So there you have it everybody. Uh, crafts made out of canning rings, snowman, and pumpkins. And I want to thank you today for joining me. Thanks again and God bless from Shannon at Nana's Workshop. Please join my Facebook page and... Uh, Check out all the things that I, I do, furniture and crafts and painting canvas. So please join me over on my Facebook page. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye.